Hi, it's Greg again. So, uh, I got an interesting one this time. It's very common, but maybe I'll just show you guys. It'll be a little easier. So, the fridge we're going to be working on is a Whirlpool um, freezer on the top, fridge part on the bottom. So, the problem she's having is Water is running from the freezer um, down to the fridge. She's collecting the water in bowls. Um, it's gradually getting worse and worse. So we gotta fix this for her. That should not be happening. Okay, first things first for this fridge. Um, I'm gonna take out this bottom tray here. Let's see if I can get a little better on that. So there's two two screws, one over in this corner, and one right down in here. Once we undo those, we'll be able to slide this tray out, we'll be able to get this guy out of here, and then we can take that back wall off. Okay, so we get those two screws out of that bottom plate. We'll just, you gotta lift up a little bit. Usually there's, if it's dripping water into the fridge, You'll have some ice built up under here too, so usually you gotta break that ice a little bit before you be able to pull this guy out. Now I'm gonna take off that screw, that screw, that screw there, um, and then this whole guy is gonna come off. Behind this cover, you'll see there is a connector for your ice maker. Um, I don't know if it's actually out or not on this guy, but we'll see when we get in there. All right, so under this guy, so that's the connector for the ice maker. It's just got a little clip here. You can just pull on that clip and that will come right off. Now you can pull this. So there's a, there's a ground clip right here. Um, we can take that off now, or we can get this out and, and pull it off in a minute, but uh, I usually try to just take it off now. It makes everything a lot easier. Might have to use a screwdriver, because some of them are tight. And it just pushes, push down, and that comes off. Make sure you feed all that wiring through there. And this just comes right out. So now, this is the evaporator of your fridge. So this is basically where all the cold is made. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of ice in here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but look at all the ice on the bottom here. This is all really thick. <laughs> ice build up on here. So we're going to get all this out of here um, and I'll show you guys what the next steps. So you can use a putty knife. I usually just use a screwdriver in these guys, especially when it's this thick. Usually it comes off in pretty big pieces. You just don't want to gouge at it because it's just a plastic plastic inside of this compartment, so you don't want to gouge it or, you know, break it in any way. So, let's get all this out of here. Some of the ice will fall through these holes. You can put a rag in them if you want, or you can just put something underneath in the fridge just to catch all that stuff from getting into the fridge section. So the main ice that we we're gonna need to get it all out of here, but the main ice that's causing the, the problem is actually the ice on top of this tray here. It's plugging off the drain hole 
for this all this water can get out of here. It runs down a tube through the back of the fridge that you can't get to because it's inside the fridge wall. So this is the only place where you can actually access it besides where it comes out at the bottom and goes into a big drip tray is what it is. So we want to get all the ice out from underneath here and all the ice from on top of this tray. We'll get all that out of there and uh, I'll take you guys a little closer and show you what what it looks like inside of here. All right, so we got all the ice out of that tray there and underneath that tray, you can always just lift this up. It's, it's uh, pretty easy to do that, but you want it to sit back down as well as it'll go anyway um, when you're done. So that hole there is the drain hole. So all of this ice that's usually built up on here um, will melt when this heater here turns on. The heater, um, well, basically it just melts the ice off of there, but all that water is going to run down through this hole and then there's a, there's a tube connected to the bottom of that that runs all the way down under your fridge. And this is just about every fridge made nowadays is this kind of style. So, um, yeah, there's just a pan underneath there that all that water just evaporates with the heat of the, the compressor and the fan running across it. So what we want to do now is, I've got all the ice out of here, but that hole is still plugged off. So I've got myself some just about boiling water. <laughs> I'm going to pour that in there and uh, we're probably going to have to pick at it a little bit because that ice is going to be down that hole a ways. But uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll start on that. All right, let's dump some of this in there. This is where you might want to cover the holes that lead into the fridge right here. These three guys, because um, you don't want the water all getting in there too. So you got something inside of there to catch it. But I don't know if you can see that or not, but that, yeah, that water's just sitting there. It's not going anywhere. So I'll grab a pick and uh, I'll start digging down that hole. So, how I like to do it is, um, I usually use three different picks, but I've got a 45 degree pick that I can get in there fairly well with. What you're really going to want to watch though, is you don't get anywhere near this, um, these coils, the evaporator. It's, if you end up hitting one of these lines with your pick, um, that's a lot of money to fix. So if you're going to be doing this job, um, stay away from these coils as much as you possibly can. And they're quite sharp too, so. There we go. You can see that ice in there now. So yeah, you just wanna pick at it and get that unstuck. More or less just to bust up the ice in there. It'll come out in little chunks sometimes. It's nice when it does. And you know you're getting somewhere. So 
I will continue picking at this and I'll show you guys what happens when this guy's all clear. Okay, so I've gone as far down that hole as I can possibly get with my picks. They're not the longest tools. Um, so I'm just trying to get all the, the water that I've poured around here is now very cold. It's not doing much to get the ice out of that hole. So I'm just gonna get a lot of this water out of the way and then dump some more hot water into there. Hopefully that'll be enough to unplug it. Okay, so we finally got it unplugged. That was a that was a tough one. So you want to throw you don't want to throw too much water, but you want to flush through a um, bunch of really hot water down through there, um, just to take out any ice that might be remaining in that tube. It's you don't want to be called back on that. Um, so make sure this tray is actually sitting in there properly um, and we can button it all back up. So I'm we'll just put all the screws back in, put the panel back up, put this guy in and the two screws for him are in. Um, what we gotta do is put the shelf on. The shelf, I don't know, it's it's fairly easy, I guess, once you know how it comes out. If you don't, it could be a bit of a pain. So I'm gonna put in one side first, like that, and you'll see if it's sitting down really low in that hole, it won't go. But you can see that if you pick it up a little bit, it will go into that bigger hole and you can slide it over far enough that you can hook it into this side. Perfect, just like that. So, another job. Well done. We'll turn the fridge back on. And there's not really any way to test it besides the, the fact that we poured a whole bunch of water down that tube to unplug it. Anyway, you guys like this video, um, hit that subscribe button. Leave me some comments if you guys um, do this a different way or I don't know, what have you. Um, just let me know. Thanks for watching.